All right. I think we are live now and uh, let me just mute the background music so we can get into the live stream topic of today which is uh, my master template uh, in logic that I'm building to use in 2022. I felt like I wanted to have a, you know a fresh start uh, since I have my new MacBook Pro and everything and uh, well, I felt I needed a new template. Hello, uh, Case KSP from Germany, K Jones from London, and uh, Monor or Roland Corker from New York. So we have representatives from all around the world here today already. Uh, if you don't know, I'm Mike from Sweden. So greetings and hello, everyone. All right. Uh, let's jump into logic now, which is my DAW of choice. Uh, what DAW do you use, my friends, and why? So I started this yesterday, actually. I already have a master folder for percussion, uh, in case you tuned into that live stream. Drum kits, bass drums, deep drums, timpani, everything in here. Today I'm going to continue with um, the effect or FX category. I started out with, oh, sorry, have to turn on my MIDI keyboard. Let's see if we can get some noise going on here. I started up out with the sub booms or booms yesterday. Uh, let's see. Now it's loaded. Uh, not sure about what the. Oh, man, I hated what that happens. I don't know why, but with my new. Uh, uh, MacBook Pro M1, logic has been very unstable. I think I'm running it in Rosetta mode. So in case you're wondering about the compatibility and stuff, it's not yet there, uh, but I needed to buy a new one because uh, my old computer was that iMac up there from 2013. Let's see, are we back again? Let's load out the booms here and see if we can, yeah. Okay, so uh, this is, uh, let's see, I'm using, oh, sorry, that was everything. Here is damage to, various, these kinds of booms, gravity, let's see if you can see them, if you plug in at the same time, you know, these sort of sub booms. Uh, At Atlantica is an older library. I don't actually remember who made it. Uh, I'm running it in complete control. So I have all these sub booms. I, I would like to have some tips for types of effect sounds because I'm going to have all like sounds in the FX category in this uh, big folder here. So I have the sub booms, I have the impacts, which are like trailer hits and stuff. And then I have punches, which are, well, let me show you these kinds of uh, short and concise, like stomps, claps. Good for trailer sounds, but also for adding accents. And then I have some from Damage 2 there. So that's punches. Okay, so booms, impact, punches. What else should we add now in the effects sounds category? Thanks, KSP. Uh, so actually, I had some problems before beginning this live stream. I'm usually using this microphone uh, here, which is connected to my analog mixer, and that acts as an extra audio interface. But for some reason, my broadcasting software didn't recognize it today. So I had to use this microphone that goes into my main interface which means I won't be able to do anything like live in logic with it today. Under bass sound, sub bass wave, sub bass wave. Uh, let's see, you mean like uh, sub bass, you know, bass sound? Because I, I, I will have a category for basses as well. This is just FX sounds. So I'm starting with sub booms, boom, sounds like that. The impacts are massive sounds like this. Let's see, please load it. 
and don't crash. Like that. Punches are that crisp, uh, focused sounds. Um, I'm not sure what the sub bass wave. I would say that is like sub or boom category, pretty much. Or is it something else? Um, let's see what we can find. So I'm going to go to start contact. No, let's do. I like actually complete control better these days because uh, with complete control, I can get the light guide on my uh, complete control keyboard. Under bass sets says under the low and more feel than the sound. Oh, you, oh, you mean like a sub drone? Like, hmm, that could be it. Drones, I guess. Drones. In fact, I have. It's not a hit though, but I mean, I will have in the FX category transition sounds like risers and sub drops and stuff like that as well. Let's see. This should be. What should we do as a drone? I like to have a. Mm, Infrasonic, <laughs> infrasound, indeed. I like to have um, icons on every category as well. I, I guess a drone is like sub, like a synth sound or something. In fact, then let's start with one uh, of my favorite drone libraries, which is run in UVI workstation. Not everything is in contact, my friends. Double click and let's see what's it called. Um, it's simply called drone. Stereo is fine. So let's slow this up and try something. The nice thing about this is that it's like two sources that they can blend between. And then like that is like a cinematic. I don't know if you can hear it, it's quite low, but it's just a sub with texture basically. And then uh, um, you can actually shift out the source, lots of different sources here, and blend with this. And do like this. I'm not sure if I have to like increase the sound so you can hear it. It's just changing and shifting the texture, which I like. So that will go in there. And as you can see, I'm also going to have. Well, wait a minute. Did I use? Did I use a an image on all my percussion? I did. Okay. So let's do that. Uh, drones. Will, all the, all the drones will get a keyboard sound. Not that one. The old analog, super analog feel. So that is a drone UVI. So. The, the, the purpose of this template is that I want to have every single sound type I need as a cinematic composer and all my favorites. So not only one drone here, I want to add another one. So what else do we have? Do you have a suggestion for a drone uh, library? I, I guess Omnisphere is actually really good for this as well. They have a lot of pads and if you play them low enough it's basically a drone. So let's load up Omnisphere and then let's load up... Do they have drones as a category? I don't remember. I don't think so. Let's use pads and strings. And let's search for... Let's search for pads and strings. Do they have like... Uh, wo deep... Deep... Huh. Dreaming. Let's do that. What's this? Oh yeah. Let's go with that one. I just want to have something as a default um, template to start with. So Omnisphere has a good drone. What else? Any more really nice uh, drone type instruments? Should I check out some? I I think Logic has someone in Alchemy, right? Do you, uh, by the way, anyone uses Logic in here? Or am I the only only one on stream here that use logic? Let's see, strings, sound, soundscapes, I guess. Drone, yeah. What? No preset. Oh, there we have them. Let's just try one. All these sounds are super low. Let's see. Where are we? 
super 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 low um let's uh, i think i'm going to do i dare to put on like a gain on just on the output just because you know 20 let's do 12 decibel with the danger being that it might be too loud on some sounds Yeah, I think so. Alchemy could be really cool for... What's good about Alchemy, by the way, is uh, they have this... Oh, let me show you. Uh, Alchemy... Load it up. They have this here. This is... I don't know what how it works. It's like a matrix. And you can automate this as well. Let's increase the loudness some more. Disturbance, some grit. Oh man, really nice. Um, okay, do, do you have any Eduardo Tarilonte libraries? I haven't, uh, but I heard he does a lot of like this world and ethnic libraries. Uh, so I probably should check them out. I have been on a mission to learn how to play these, you know, world instruments myself with the Irish whistles back there, the bouzouki, the bowed instrument from Russia over there. Um, so that is one of my main goals in 2022, to continue my multi-instrumentalist journey as well. I have my Swedish coffee here. We drink a lot of coffee in Sweden. Okay, so drones. Let's, let's just go with three there. And what else? What else? Booms, impacts, FX sounds. I need some tips, guys. Uh, okay, they are bl brilliant for drones and soundscape. Oh, I didn't know, actually. Hmm... I will check them out after this stream and see if they have something cool. Perhaps reach out to him and ask if he could give me a review copy or something. Um, let's see. Drones. I want to do a sub drop now. Boom. Sub. That's that is sub. Sub. I'm call I'm actually calling them downers. Because it goes... You know, that kind of sound. So... What I'm going to do here is load up complete control first. Actually, uh, you can do this really well. Shout and chance. Good suggest suggestions. Um, I'm not sure which library has this. I, I remember an old library uh, by, I think, Cinematic Sampling, which was like, was it Drums of War that had that like warrior choir shouts? Uh, other than that, I'm not sure which library has those. A downer. Let's just make a downer. I'm going to Omnisphere. This is... Uh, well, this will be a quick mini tutorial, I guess. So, downer. That is a sub drop, by the way, but I'm, I'm calling them downers. Omnisphere. How's the audio level, by the way, on my microphone? And should I increase the... Let's see. What did I do, by the way? Stereo out. Where did I where did I put? Oh, I put it on the. That's wrong. Sorry, I need to check this. I'll open the mixer and let's put it on the master stereo out. And there I will put it. And this is dangerous. This is dangerous. And after that, I will put a dynamic compressor. Just a limiter minus two. I'm not sure how this will work, but I mean, let's see. Oh, sorry. Sorry about the clipping. So now we know that you are not supposed to play all the drones at the same time. How were I able to play that, by the way? I'm going to save. I learned the hard way now that it's important to save a lot, especially now in this stage where the M1 Mac Book Pro is not super compatible with all the plugins. So it might actually do a crash. So what I do is when I have, can you see this small screen? Um, I have, uh, you know, these little on off buttons. And if you select everything and then just hold the option or alt key and left click with your mouse, you are unloading it from RAM. You can see it's not loaded here now. So let's now go into Omnisphere and I will show you a cool trick to create your own sub drops super easy. So, so the, this is the, like, this is so easy, it's back practically cheating. First, set the oscillator on a sine wave. 
add a low pass filter i'm usually going with this rich and moogie thing here no envelope put it on like well 200 hertz and below something like that and then go into whether is it main pitch bend down put it on 12 uh, there so now you have if i just play something and i use my pitch bend wheel and go down from the middle to the bottom that is now one octave instead of like two uh, half steps so um what you do then is if you just want to record something create a major region I'm, I'm just going to show you this and then let's say you are creating a let's say from d uh where are we let's do a full bar then open out automation and then you do pitch bend add a point here to make sure it's on zero add a point in the end or almost at the end and push it down to the bottom and voila you have yourself massive sub drop and then you can of course change the, the timing of it uh, how long it is but also i mean add some fat effects if you use logic to this make it meaner uh, let's do bass overblown i don't know how this will sound i mean that's just an example. I, I, I would probably just go with a decapitator or some saturation plugin like that. So that is a downer. Whoop. I accidentally made a quick tutorial in this stream. Uh, I wasn't supposed to, but I couldn't help myself. So let's add the... Um, hello. Where is the icon? Please give me the icon. Not the metronome. The sub. So that's, a, that's a, like your own sub rope if you want to use that. Another one. Let's save. Always remember to save often. Uh, what, uh, do you have any suggestions for plugins and libraries with subgroups prepared? I think I have some in contact, but let's use complete control. Bring up all my libraries here. Contact. Let's see which one has the subgroup. I think Gravity has subgroups by Heaviosity. Uh, okay, so they have risers, but not subgroups. That's annoying any suggestions for sub drop libraries i don't think damage have them or do does damage actually let's check damage too i haven't really tried the olympus choir i have yeah i have uh it's an old library but it's actually it's really easy to use and good for those you know choir pads as i call them but you know the ah, uh, ooh, and so on. Let's just try, like, click the pass here, the contact snapshot transitions. Let's see, hybrid reverses. No, these are bush sounds and stuff. All right, that's too bad. Let's see if Alchemy has some sub groups. Sub groups. Can you search here in Alchemy? Uh, I don't use alchemy that much, to be honest. Sound effects... I mean, isn't there a search function in this plugin? Uh, it's not a bait. Yeah, sub, but that's not a sub drop. Sweep. What is a sweep? Is that like a... <laughs> not at all what I wanted. Um, see... I, in fact, let's just do Diva as well, um, so we can make either using Omnisphere or Diva. Diva is my favorite analog synthesizer. It's anything key first. Oh yeah, forgot about that. Let's just, I, I'm just going to create this and do... Let's try it out. Did I delete that? I delete, I deleted it. Deleted it. Why did I do that? So let's put this and try that. Pitch bend, the same thing here from zero to, just to test it out. And then of course you need to set the pitch bend wheel. Can you do that here? Pitch bend wheel in Diva. Uh, modifications. Where is the pitch bend wheel assignment? 
If it doesn't, I will not use this. I cannot find it. Okay. Mm, shall we just go for uh, Keep Forest then? I think we do. Let's start up Complete Control again. Let's have a sip of coffee, just for the sake of it. We need the energy. Uh, not damage to Keep Forest. I think I have like two libraries. Do I have them on this drive? What? Uh, uh, yeah, Atlantica. What's it called? Atlantica Keep Forest. There, Evolution Atlantica. Let's see. Drops. Sub. No, it's drops. Let's try that one. Okay. So let's. Yeah. Exactly, and you hear that grittiness. These have a hit to drop. You know, this Transformers style sci fi effect. Oh, yeah, let's, let's put it at that. So we have a uh, Atlantic, I call this Atlantica. So we have Omnisphere, we have Atlantica. I'm not sure if I have any other right now, so let's just do it like that. Is the order level okay coming up from the DAW with the 12 dB boost and compression? Or is it too much on stream? Uh, let's see. The next one, downer. So, of course, after a downer, we need a riser. What I can do, do for a riser? Like this one? Going. Oh, yeah. Let's do that one actually. Sub drop or downer, of course, should be. Damn it! Let me mark you guys. Should be. These are the new ones in the latest logic update, all these icons. So, downer is an arrow down, up. Then you need a riser, which is, of course, an arrow up. And then let's just do the opposite. Let's duplicate this track, drag it over to. No. Drag it over to the next one. So we have the riser, Omnisphere. Let's start up that one. Uh, DAW is uh, the music production software. I'm using Logic, there's Cubase, you know, Studio One, lots of different ones. It's the shortcut uh, or sh abbreviation for Digital Audio Workstation. So this is basically where everyone produces their music, composition, mixes, and so on. Let's see. If we can make a riser the opposite way, where we just made a downer. So this is um, the downer we created. Where are you guys? There. So if I just... So I can now do that one. If we go to the opposite direction, and I would actually recommend going all the way to 24 steps here, or notes, um, because then... You can do it like, let's do this one, or can I copy you, please? Copy this one. Let's reverse this one upwards. Let's also extend it, hold down Option or Alt to drag it out. It's now two bars long. And then, uh, let's see if we can just do that, open it up. Let's let's just try a long pad sound here and see, oh, let's see, up. I need to lock it, lock the pitch bend range in Logic. Then go into the pad category or synth long. Let's use this one, Drama King. Let's let's just start. This could be this could be too loud actually. Let's delete the gain for now. Okay, how would that sound as a riser? It's uh, why does it it? Do the pitch bend as I want it to. Pitch bend up. It's supposed to. Looking good. I think that patch was not really the best one. Let's do. Let's just do a long string, and see how it sounds. Uh, long pad. Cream of emotion. Let's see. Okay. So we need to put this on a like up here. Okay, not, not a good one as well. Now! 
that's what I wanted. Like, you, you know, that, this kind of upwards rise, uh, riser that sounds almost like a siren, but it's only going upwards. Super nice to have those. And of course, you can have it like four bars. And this works well, not only in cinematic music, but you know, orchestra or EDM as well. And of course, you need to make sure that the note extends for the entire duration. So the amp must be like this, like this, so you get it like, like so. So it doesn't lose any volume. I don't know why this has like an insane amount of reverb on top. Let's let's delete that or reduce it at least. Okay, so now we made a riser, the same way we did a downer, but the opposite way. Okay, so that's Omnisphere. Um, I thought every like plugin, you can even do this. In, you don't even need Omnisphere. You can do like Apple Retro Synth. Let's let's just do that Retro Synth because it. You only need to check that it has this. Let's see, bend range and put it on one or two octaves. So let's do two octaves. I'm gonna check if this lead sound changes. Yeah, you you cannot lock this as is Omnisphere. <laughs> That way, that's what I like about Omnisphere. You can lock, for example, the pitch bend range and then just try different presets. Here, every preset. I think Omnisphere is the only plugin in the world that has that type of feature. <coughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. Perhaps Serum has it. I don't know. I haven't used Serum. <coughs> Let's do synth strings. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to try. Riser instrument like that, riser, whoops, and see how this sounds, and then just put it on, don't, don't we have like, that way, two octaves, put it on amp envelope, forever, forever, why, why, I want it forever, is it forever? <laughs> And then you can, of course, add saturation, EQ, automation, anything on top of this. Let's make a riser, retro synth, a riser. I still need you guys to be an arrow upwards. Okay, risers, downers, let's do it like that. We have some risers. Oh, by the way, oh, I forgot, of course, we need... Uh, one of my favorite riser plugins, which is from Native Instruments. We have... Can you guess which one? Uh, well, we have it in Atlantic, actually. Well, let's see, risers. I, actually, I, I don't like that those particular risers. Uh, let me just show you... Let me show you my, one of my favorites here. What's it called? Rise and hit. Rise and hit. Here it is. Rise and hit. So all of these risers are more like orchestral sounding. Let's see. Rise and hit. So those you don't need to do the pitch then. Do we need to turn on the gain again? Yep. Let's leave it at that. So that's the riser. We have another one, I think. I think UVI has one as well, which is really good. Where are you? UVI. Workstation. Great sci-fi library. Yeah, it actually is. Uh, but, I mean, risers can be used in practically every genre of music. I think they have, like... I think I'm using... Is it, like, Meteor or is it... Let's try Whoosh. It's actually a Whoosh library, which is another type of effect, but I think they have some risers as well. Risers, here. Let's try that one. Nice! UVI Whoosh. 
Okay, uh, let's see. Have you also did natural forces? Natural forces. I don't think I have that, and I have pro most of heavy osages libraries. Is that turned off? No. I need to make sure everything is turned off before I continue. That's rises. Let's continue. So we have booms, impacts, punches, drones, downers, and risers. I should probably put some punches. Let's see, if I just take this sampler and drag it in there. Because I, I suppose in every category you can have just the um, built-in sampler in your DW. So sampler. Because that way... Let's use this one. Just if I show you, it, it's nothing here now, but you can drag in your own samples. If you, Let's say if I record myself clapping, that's in the punches category. Uh, that's how I <laughs> categorize it at least. And, and turn it off. And you can do this for every category. Jump back, Logic user here. Thanks for the great content. Thank you for saying so and uh, welcome to the stream. Let's see. Oh, the viewers are going up. It's almost my m most viewers so far. 16 concurrent viewers. Concurrent. Strange word, right? I don't even know what that means. Some, 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 okay, concurrent was easier to say. That's why. Uh, uh, ah. I, I I won't try to pronounce all your names because I'm crap at pronouncing names. <laughs> Sorry about that. I've done your master workflow course in Udemy. It was really insightful. Thank you. Oh, great. Is that the one that I did with Zach uh, Heide? You can invert everything to get downlifters. Yeah, practically. They, I, I don't know if that's only me, but I mean, for sub drops, I usually go with the shorter, uh, like one bar, whereas risers, I think, works better for four bars or longer. Good morning, everyone. Uh, well, lots of people coming in here. So fun and engaging. Uh, so yeah, just start discussions in the chat. If when I'm not, you know, looking at the chat and make some friends in there, ask questions to each other as well. So what I'm, what are we working on? Well, we are working in the FX category of my master template. We have booms, impacts, punches, drones, downers, risers. What's next? Next here, I think whooshes actually. Whooshes. How does a whoosh look like as an icon? Whoosh. Sound effects. It's like... Could it be... This vinyl... Whoosh. In fact, now that I think about it, the drones, I think I'm going to change to this one. A conveyor belt, because it's like... It keeps like going and going and going around and around. So that's that's a drone. I don't know if it's just me. I really love to categorize sound types with the icon in my DW. Um, I guess I have a bit of OCD. Uh, so whoosh types the rocket. This, there's a rocket. Yeah, there's a rocket. Let's do that. I guess it could be. It's like. Where did it go? Sound effects. Uh, rocket. I think I almost wrote rocket as the title. Whooshes. And then whoosh. And I'm going to start with UVI whoosh. And I, I'm, I have to tell you, UVI is a uh, unappreciated uh, uh, engine. I, I, I prefer it before contact. And they have some really nice libraries. I mean, double click here. You get to your sound bags. I have all of these sound bags, and they are super high quality. They might not have as many external libraries as Contact, but I mean, check this out. For example, Bush here, load it in, and interface looking great. You can scale it uh, with like where is it? Yeah, and you can see I already scale it up to uh, the entire screen, and you can set the duration. You can lock the duration. And you can sync it to uh, let's say a bar. Perfect whoosh, changed out. That is now locked. As I, okay, so as I told you, the Omnisphere lock button, UVI has it as well on many libraries. I mean, yeah, I, I have done a lot of noise, uh, noise of the whooshes, Phil, but uh, after I found this library, I simply use it almost every time I need a whoosh because you can, you know, 
change the envelope of it like and wait a minute now it's not working I forgot yeah yeah you draw it in the envelope and you have three different textures noise and two textures here um, so you have voices you have classic movement it's so good but let's just go with the initial bush sound locked to one uh, bar and then I can exchange it in the track I'm working on just to have it there that's my favorite bush plugin it's actually more of a plugin than a library to be honest let's save because we are making progress Phil any, any suggestion for an actual you know library or plugin that has bushes I, I know I can do it with a synthesizer but sometimes you just want to grab like I think didn't damage to have I think so. Let's check check damage too, which is the most powerful, like, like epic uh, percussion library. But people tend to forget that they actually add a lot of other stuff as well. It's not only percussion now. Uh, where are we? Plus sign there. And then the snapshots, transitions. Let's see. It's symbols, well, hybrid, hybrid whooshes. Let's try that one. Okay, next one. I'm just doing a... Oh yeah. These are so processed and hybrid epic types of uh, whooshes that probably my go-to now for those trailer type whoosh sounds. Damage to... Da damage? I cannot spell anymore. Damage to... More? What else? Anything else? Let's save. How is the stream quality? 8,000, 7,000? I'm just checking the bitrate. Uh, this is all my third stream ever on my live streaming setup. And, you know, the broadcasting software here, the YouTube comments on that screen, Logic here, my mixing console there, microphone here. It's a lot to, you know, be aware of. So, it's not easy, but it's fun. Didn't I turn these off? Always remember to turn them off. Alt or Option, left click, unload from RAM. Let's see. Any suggestions for more whoosh libraries or plugins? I prefer plugins if you if you know any. I have so many, so it's hard to know you know remember where everything is. Complete. Let's let's well let's go to my library list and check contact. Um, damage. I think Atlantica. Well, let's go there again whooshes here i'm gonna check booms later as well did i did i add those let's see okay so this yep those whooshes were great and compared to damage and the uh, vi wait a minute what did i do why do i have two damage two here the riser by air music I haven't heard about that uh, is that a plugin or like a synthesizer? It sounds good if it's only focused on risers. Let's see. Uh, here I have damage to twice. I won't need two. Two damage to will be too much damage. Oh, 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 oh. That's some um, bad humor for you guys. Damage to uh, this is Atlantica. And I would say the sound, I, I like to have a couple of different tones, you know, to, to choose from. By the way, I need more coffee because I'm Swedish. It's starting to get cold, damn it. <coughs> I should get one of those, you know, USB, you know, mug heaters, is it called that? Because I forget to take a sip now when I stream, so it's starting to get cold. Plug in, yes. Um, I will check that as well. In fact, I should have like a list on stream when I get suggestions from you guys. Where are we? We need some drama. So that's Wushes. Uh, what's good about Atlantic and these Keep Forest libraries is that you can... I believe you can like... Yeah, you see this tune here. It's actually a key switch. This is a real nice touch. So you have that whoosh. And then if I press here... See? It's now an F. So 
you can, I mean, these are more noise sounds, but I find it cool that you can actually key switch the tuning as well. Uh, hi Michael, awesome. How many library plugins do you use have running at the same time? Uh, at the same time, I'm, don't, I'm not sure yet because I just got this new MacBook Pro M1 14 inch uh, a month ago, so I, I'm still building my new templates. I haven't actually tested how much it can handle CPU wise and stuff. I have it 32 gigabytes of RAM, uh, so it's not the maxed out version, but I've heard that it would perform great. How many I uh, actually own? I mean, let's just uh, check here quickly. So these are all my contact libraries. I don't know if you can see this. And if you, uh, if Native Instruments ever get around to do this, please, Native Instruments, update so I can scale this out to increase the interface. Because I don't, I'm not even on a 4K monitor, but it's still too small. I think uh, I would like to have it larger. Uh, Franz, uh, Swedish too. Franz, are you in my composing community, professionalcomposers.com? Uh, Roberto, hi and welcome. Why do you have why do you have a wrench icon? Oh, I think I made you like Did I make you like a moderator or something? I, I don't I I I forgot. I haven't streamed live for like two years. I took a break from it and now this is my third live stream on my new setup, so I don't remember how all of this works. Okay, so that's Bush from Atlantica. Yeah? So now we have like let's let's just compare the whoosh sounds. You don't know you don't know why it's I I, I might have made you moderator back in the day, uh, Roberto, because I needed some people I trust to you know moderate the uh, the comments. If you if you are a moderator, if that means a moderator, can you just check if you if you can actually delete a comment? You don't have to delete it, uh, but are you able to like do something in the chat? Because I I don't even know. So we have. More of EDM type clean bush sound. We have the damage. Hybrid epic cinematic trailer music. And then we have the Atlantic, which is also hybrid. But more in that lower, you know, gritty. It sounds like. It, this sounds. Oh, sorry. It, I mean, listen to this sound. It sounds like fire, you know, swooshing by you angrily. If that makes sense. Evil angry fire whoosh is that. So now I have a couple of different uh, tones for whooshes. Let's save now because that's... I can delete my message. But can you delete any other message? I just want to check if your uh, wrench icon there... Is it called wrench in English? That little tool icon that I see in the chat. If that means that you are in fact a moderator on the stream. Or something. Uh, okay, so that's whooshers. We have booms, impacts, punches, drones, downers, risers, whooshers, whooshers. Hmm, what else? I think for pads, I would say I would not use them in a FX category. I, I would th say these are more timed effects. Well, not really a drone. I want to use pads here. I would use, use that in like a melodic folder. Okay, you can delete others also. Then you are, I guess you are a moderator, Roberto. So thank you for being here. And uh, I mean, I'm building a new master template here in 2022. This is just a start. Yesterday I completed the percussion template, that folder. And all these are subfolders, so folders within all folders. Meaning I have drum kits, bass drums, deep drums, timpani, mid percussion, like djembe, congas, bongos. Ethnic percussion, toms, snares, gongs, sticks, gongs and tam tams, sticks and clicks and ticks, shimmer types uh, like triangle, high metal, scratches and such, and then cymbals. That was my master percussion uh, folder. Now today we're working on the master FX folder. So we have sub booms like boom, and then impacts, punches, drones. Downers, which are sub drops, risers, which is the opposite, Wee. and whooshes here. Uh, the next category, let's see, horror, like water phones, etc. Oh yeah, horror. What what sound? What icon should we use for horror? I mean, I have a dog here, 
And you might ask, why do you put do dog in the horror? Uh, I, I won't use this, by the way, just for fun. Well, I watched Resident Evil once again yesterday, and they have lots of scary zombie dogs. But that's, that's not a zombie dog, so let's not use that horror. Uh, I'll be a mo moderator. Cool! Thanks, uh, Roberto. I, I mean, I think I moderated... Moderated? Is that the... No, a verb? Um, a couple of uh, people that I know, know from, you know, the Facebook group or my forum. Canine phobia. P pretty much, I, I remember when I... I mean, I, I'm not afraid of dogs, just to be clear. But I remember when I watched... Uh, when I... Um, when, no, when I first, the first three game pretty much I played on PC was Wolfenstein, and now I'm showing my age. I'm 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 40 years old now, so I'm bo I'm uh, born in 1981. 80s crew, are you here? Everyone from the 80s, please write a comment below. Then you will rem remember Wolfenstein before Doom, before Quake, and uh, all these uh, games, whatever people play nowadays, uh, Counter Strike, whatever. There was Wolfenstein, and it was like uh, the Hitler era, like World War Two, and they had like these uh, what's it called German, you know these German dogs. I I don't remember the the race, uh, but they were scary back then when I was young or a child and played Wolfenstein. Okay, uh, where are we? I'm just going on a ramble here. You guys have to stop me. Uh, horror effects. Horror. An icon for horror. Sound effect. Uh, I, I have to be. I have to be honest. This icon is pretty weird. Weird to me. I don't know if I have a strange uh, mind, but I, I. I. It looks like the elephant is like uh, banging a lion. Sorry if YouTube bans me for saying that, but <laughs> it looks so weird. Uh, let's see, horror. Th this Android thing, is it scary? You were 8 in 1981. Okay, cool. Then you definitely uh, remember Wolfenstein and the early game era. I mean, I remember back in the day when I first got the... Uh, my friend got the NES. Nintendo 8-bit system, you know, with Mario, first Mario, and Ice Climber. Those were the two only games he had. 1986. Oh man, don't bring me back down the nostalgia lane. I will like talk about 80s music and stuff. <laughs> the drop looks like a blood drop. The drop is... Or... Let's use the vial. I don't know if it's just me. I always was a bit scared about this medical stuff. That's like a Dr. Frankenstein vile horror. Okay, <laughs> let's continue the actual template now. Um, let's see... Wait a minute, I want all you instruments to have that sound effect. Where did you go? Vile. Okay, so what can we have here? What, what libraries or plugins have horror sound? I think Omnisphere or Alchemy? Let's actually go with Omnisphere. I know they have some cool textures, because, you know, these background whispery types of textures, caves and stuff, caverns, can be really, really creepy. Playable, I think it's called Noise Escapes in Omnisphere. How many of you have Omnisphere, by the way? If you don't, it's it has been my favorite plugin of all plugins ever since 2008, when it was released, the first version, and I got it. There is so much in here. Let's just try something. Flies attacking the monkeys. I mean, that's a creepy title. How does that sound? Let's reduce the gain for this sound. Omnisphere has such a hot, uh, meaning a loud signal. What? <laughs> what is this sound? Okay, uh, let's try another one. I want... That's not creepy. Disturbing. I love the interface, by the way, in Omnisphere. It's such a great, you know, you can categorize here. Underground. That's... Now, this is horror. This... This is like a horror movie. Let's go with that one. 
horror uh, Omnisphere Definitely bought Phil bought Omnisphere last year That's amazing. Uh, how do you like it so far? Let's save and I apologize if logic will crash on me once again It has done so a couple of times since I got this new MacBook Pro M1 which I have to run in Rosetta mode because all plugins are not, you know, compatible yet. And it's, to be honest, not that stable as I'm used to. I, I had like one crash in seven years of logic on that old iMac. I know it's up here now from 2013. And I already crashed this like 10 times in a week, which is annoying to say the least. East West Tournament 2 has horror stuff. Um, I don't think I have that. The... I think East West actually asked me to do a review on their Opus edition. I, I I don't remember if I did. I think I did like their strings, but I don't have their percussion and FX categories. Anything else? Any contact library? I have a lot of them. What else? Co uh, I think. Uh, I have some libraries that I haven't yet installed on my new drive. I have this super fast drive, so I might have some on my old backup uh, spinning drive over there. Let's see. No, Gravity. Gravity, I think, has some. Let's see. Hits. No. Stings. Disturbing Metal. I'm going to I'm going to try this. Disturbing metal. East West is great for textures and getting a real instrument vibe. Okay, so this is what I would call this more of a kind of horror drone to be honest. What I, what I don't like about this is, uh, let me hear your opinion about this. Because the, the the bad thing about contact, in my opinion, many contact libraries is that there's no um, preset browser here. I mean, in the actual library. In many, you have to like open up the folder, go into a folder subfolder, and you know go through pre presets like this, which is so bad. To be honest. Oh yeah, Peter! Thank you for that thrill. I think I have installed that. Um, that is like the main... Let's see. I thought I have installed it. Is it native instrument thrill? Am I, am I blind? It should be here. Oh, damn it. I, I think I have it on my old backup library right now. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's that's an amazing uh, horror because they have these cluster chords and then you can animate or add movement to it. Uh, why didn't I install it on my new library? Now I'm getting annoyed at myself. Storm Choir. Sim Let's see. So if Symphobia has something here, actually Symphobia is was one my first orchestral library. I bought it like back in 2000. I don't know. 13, 12, something like that. And they just updated again their old stuff, which is actually really good. Okay, so they have a dystopia category. And here they have some really cool vacuum. Let's try another one. I like this. But to be honest, in my master template, I want uh, I want to use plugins and libraries that have more to choose from. This is too little of, of too little variation um, for this category. Let's see, Phil. Uh, Lead type sounds I prefer DS Thorn at the moment for being more straightforward to tweak. DS Thorn. Lead. Are you still talking about horror sounds now, though, or are you talking about just lead synths and lead uh, instruments? Let's see, do we have anything else going on? How's, how's, the, how's the video quality? Have, have you noticed anything you know, weird with the video on the live stream? I just want to make sure that everything works okay for... I'm going to do lots of live streaming this year. 
type creator or let now now I remember again UVI workstation I should get paid for recommending them I don't I'm not an affiliate I just love their stuff I think they have some cool libraries here let's see so not push extreme effects extreme effects let's try unreal engines so this is just a bunch of random sample effects let's see if the gain is off okay so this is more like a foley library to be honest perhaps not the best one now that i think about it scenes atmospheres you know car sensation Omer, looks and sounds good. Nice. Good to hear that. Let's take a sip of coffee to celebrate the good quality. Okay, so not really horror sound. I thought they had some more. Let's see. Toy Suite. Whoosh effect. World Suite. Meteor is more like... Oh, by the way, Meteor, I have to load that up. I forgot about this, actually. This is the amazing library for that trailer hit sound. Listen to this. Let's try another one. In fact, uh, how loud is this? Oh, it's loud! I'm not actually hearing but you here, so I have to watch... Uh, I mean, I'm hearing at the level I set, but you are hearing it at the max output volume. Which means a lot, I think. <laughs> Sorry if that was too loud for you. Um, no, here, so you, slams, boom, cinematic, let's do slams. So this could be in the orchestral, you, need, you see how many. Trap bass, combat. I should put this in Let's start with the boom. Let's meet your highlights. I'm not sure which uh, which category should I put this. Uh, impacts, drones, bushes. I, I I just want to add it somewhere right now. Um, let's see. Okay, the experimental preparato piano is cool. Oh, now that I think about it. Uh, I think UVI has a library. I haven't got it yet, but Augmented Pianos, or was that Heaviosity? That has like these weird recordings of piano where they bow them, you know, they added some spikes and tension screws on the strings of the piano and stuff like that. Haunted Spaces by Sonic Couture. No, I have not. Lots of good suggestions here. Um, I'm, I'm just gonna add this somewhere. Boom. Let's try the boom. And then I add it to, I would say that is more of an impact sound. UVI Meteor. Impacts? Why did I put impacts as a... Is it because it's like trailer sound? I forgot. Like that. And let's place it back here. I could put it on in the boom category as well, actually. Let's take it again. Back to the horror category. Save. Always save often, my friends. Okay, let's go back. I mean, these sounds could be like... I, I, I would say it could be a creepy horror sound as well. So let's keep it in there, but let's use uh, actually Omnisphere mainly. I need to change that again. Where do you go? Mad Scientist Vile. I can't actually... Let's see, Phil. Do you have uh, buy UVI libraries, UVI libraries separately or get with Workstation or Falcon? So Workstation is actually a free engine. So it's not like Contact. Contact you need to really buy the full version to get and then buy the third party libraries. UVI Workstation is free, but then you have to buy the libraries uh, separately. So, and uh, those libraries can be from you know, various developers. Let's continue. Now, I don't have Thrill. I, I will see if I can actually check if I have it on my old... Let's see. 
Oh no, that took too long. Oh, well, I will do. I will deal with that later. It's the spinning disk. I hate spinning drives. So booms in. Wait a minute. Where did that go? Turn it off. And then we need it as a. Where did that go? Sub boom like that. Sub boom impact horror. Okay, next one. Let's save and then continue to the next effects. Do you have symphonic destruction? Great for big hits, but also for disturbing us. Um, I think I have. Oh, I should have prepared myself better for that. But I think I have that on my backup drive as well. I only move like my favorite libraries over first to my SSD drive on my new uh, MacBook Pro. So I am. I'm actually missing some stuff still. Okay, so risers, whooshes, horror. What else do you use as effects? Uh, let's do like ambience or atmosphere. Ambience, which could be like a drone, I guess, but I'm going to show you this. You have Omnisphere first. There should be a bundle or even a subscription. Probably should be. I, I don't know if they are actually considering that. I know native instruments. I heard rumors that they are considering a, a bundle, like, uh, or uh, not, but they have a bundle. I mean, a subscription model. Let's see if we can have some textures, soundscapes, just use something. Should I put, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm putting that in ambience actually. So this is Omnisphere. And let's go with the, where were the icons? So there we have that. New track, uh, turn that off. Save. Let's see, what else do we have as ambience? Do we have something in complete control? Send modern grand. Let's see. Actually, actually, I think for for these kind of textures, a synthesizer or collection is better. So Omnisphere, let's go with Alchemy. I think Alchemy has a lot of these um, ambient stuff. Sound effects, natural, artificial heartbeat. Deep breath. Okay, so that's really cool. Alchemy. So we have Alchemy. Now we have Omnisphere and Alchemy on the ambient stuff. Any more ambience suggestions? Last sip of coffee. Any more ambience suggestions, guys? Labs London Atmos or Tandra Atmos. Tan Tandra Atmos. I have never heard of those. Is the brand called... Or, or or do you mean Spitfire Labs? Like... Their... Uh, is, isn't the labs the free stuff? Or is it... I forgot. Uh, actually, the only thing I have right now from like the paid library for Spitfire Audio... Uh, yeah, the free labs. I ha I have like the piano. Fro is it frozen piano? I, I don't remember. But the only paid one I have is BBC Symphony Orchestra, which I love. Uh, ambience, atmosphere, alchemy. By the way, uh, Spitfire Labs. Okay, Spitfire Labs. What's your opinion on roller seaboard? I was so much into atmosphere, Mur Murad, uh, or it into Rolly. I was going to get that Rolly small seaboard. However, sadly, I read that they are in trouble, like the company. So I would not want to buy something, and then they go bankrupt and no more support. Uh, let's see. I actually just googled how to do a good temp template because mine is a bit outdated. Yeah, <laughs> uh, Epic Lauren. So uh, I I haven't done a real proper template for years, but since I got my new MacBook Pro. A month ago, I decided, well, let's make it one, a new, brand new one in 2022. 
Um, I have studied music, but not in university. I um, studied all, like online and by, on my own. Um, I mean, if you are going to study music, I don't think you need to go to university and pay like thousands and ten thousands of dollars or whatever. I have t taken online course. I teach online courses, by the way, within music composition and production. But also, I just bought like a big pile of books. And then I spent an entire summer reading everything, implementing everything uh, I learned. So you can do it on your own. You don't need to go to university. It, it, that's my opinion. I know, I know I've learned pretty much anything myself. I mean, even my instruments back there, my Irish tin whistles. I, I watched a couple of videos last year and then was amazed at the sound and thought, well, I want to learn to play acoustic instruments. I want to become a multi-instrumentalist. So then I just bought my first Irish whistle in March last year and started to learn myself. I watched YouTube videos, uh, read some blogs and then practiced like two, three hours every single day. And now I can play it so well that I even teach a course on how to learn to play the Irish tin whistle. And I started to learn the Irish bouzouki. Let's see, my chair is in the way back there. Uh, I will get an electric guitar and finally learn to play that this year. That is my bouzouki. It's an Irish bouzouki. It's, uh, it's not the Greek version. I I think the only difference is the tuning, right? Because that the... I tuned that in fifths. Or is that the same for Greek? I'm not sure. I think Greek is more bigger body, uh, if I remember correctly. Let's see what we have. Ambience. So, uh, Jeff, Media Man Productions, uh, do you have any suggestions for more sound categories, types of sounds that could go in the effects category? Now I have added lots of booms, impacts, punches, drones, downers, subdrops, I mean, risers, whooshes, horror sounds, and ambience. Someone mentioned shouts. Let's see, I will put that... I think I will put it at... Let's see, stabs, shouts. War, war, war sounds. Could you say that? I'm putting it in war now. Clusters, maybe in... Uh, yeah, clusters. But the... I think the only one I know that has clusters is that Native Instruments Thrill Library, which I have on my backup drive and I haven't yet added. But let's see. I agree. Don't need to agree. Blah, 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 yeah, uh, oh, I need to it. yeah, so you guys are actually discussing between each other, which I love. Thumbs up for that, Jeff. By the way, Jeff... Uh, did I make you a moderator yet? I want to make you a moderator. Is that... Can I do it from here? Add moderator. Media Man Productions is now a moderator for your channel. Write something and I will see if you get that little wrench icon, Jeff. So, let's see. Reforged has some nice tonal atmosphere. Reforged. Which uh, developer has made that? I'm, I'm not sure if I know that one. Oh yeah, you got the wrench icon now. I would add bases for your synth bass sounds and stuff too. Absolutely, uh, but I want to keep uh, all bass sounds in a bass folder. So these are just going to be, you know, what I... I mean, we all categorize differently, but I want to have these as effect sounds. Let's see, war. Let's see, war sounds. Do we have some war icons here? Apple, you need to add some more icons to choose from. We don't have a war icon. Uh, war. Let's put, let's put the arrow. I don't know. <laughs> uh, you think you have the moderator now? Cool, cool. Let's see. What did I put there? Sound effects. Uh. Man, I always forget this. Where were you? I'm blind. Where did he go? Other. Was it here? I want to have have some icon for war. Well, any library with cool war sounds like shouts and stuff. 
Do you like the new icons they updated? I like this, uh, or this, you know, single color. You know, as you can see, Jeff, I'm using, for example, here, downers, an arrow pointing downwards. How else could you describe it? And an arrow pointing pointing upwards is a riser. Whooshes, I put like this rocket as a suggestion from someone in the chat. Um, I had no better idea, so that was good. Horror, I put at this vial because, you know, this medical stuff always creeps me out for some reason. <laughs> they, they didn't have a zombie icon. Apple, if you're listening, we need more icons. Impact Soundworks is making Reforged. Cool, another good suggestion then. I have a couple of Impact Soundworks like guitar libraries. I uh, don't have that one. Let's see if we can find something for War. Shouts. No, I didn't want that. What do we have here? Uh, action strikes. No. Damage. Damage. Does damage have any? Red Room Audio. Snaps, claps, stomps and shouts. Uh... I think I remember that. Was that a free library or ch very cheap? Oh, it's a free library! Then I definitely need to get that. Let's see. Armageddon. Damaged! No. Hybrid hits. Giant yard hits. I should... These should probably go in the impacts category, to be honest. Ethnic. Transitions. Let's see. Symbol swells. I haven't yet decided, by the way, should I put symbol swells and stuff like that? Um, let's say symbol, symbol scrapes, everything like, uh, not crash symbols or piatti, but symbol swells and scratches as an effect? Or would you use them in the actual percussion group called symbols? I would actually consider at least scrapes and scratches to be more of an effect sound than a, a symbol sound to be honest but i would actually think now that i think about it let's go back here to the horror category oh no please don't crash logic don't crash on crash on me um let's see if we have some cool did I save some cool um, symbol scratch symbol library or something? Any any suggestions for? Let's see. I've just googled this, but apparently you can drag pictures directly from a browser to your icons and use them for pictures of your instruments or categories. Oh, that's really nice. Uh, Wow, I, I have to experiment with that next stream, to be honest. Put a zombie picture for horror. Uh, any good website where you can find, like, stylized versions of... Because I don't want a real zombie, or real zombie. Like a, a, a cartoonish, you know, PNG zombie, perhaps? Like a smiley zombie? I could see myself using that. Scrapes are more of an effect, yeah. I, I think so too. Could be used as in a horror or alternatively as a hit. Saga. Oh, uh, Saga. Is that Saga trailer percussion? I have that again in my old... In my old uh, backup spinning disk. I need to copy more over. I hadn't imagined I would be using everything like this. Let's see. Symbol swells, reverses, damaged. No... I mean, I'm going to try some damage stuff here. I'm not sure what this is, actually. No, more like impact sounds. Let's go out from damage and try something else. Red Room again. They have some really cool libraries, actually. Um, because I have that other one. But was it you who mentioned... Uh, I think it's called Palette? Uh, because it has a huge range of sounds as well oh by the way regarding palettes uh, they have a library it's called like what's it called scales and runs or something would you uh, would you use a scale run as an effect in the effect category in your mix or would you use it in if it's a string run would you add it in the strings group 
just I, I want to hear how you would categorize a scale run. If you have an instrument that just do, 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 a scale run, is that an effect to you, or would you use it as a string uh, part in your string group? Where were we? No damage here. We are in the war category. But did was I finished with the ambience? War. Let's see files. So what's really cool is I've streamed for one and a half hours and no issues technically yet. So I hope I'm hoping I actually solved the uh, trouble I had with my computer and streaming software before. You add it to strings personally. Uh, I absolutely love damage one and two. Damage. I mean heaviosity. I have to tell you, I have th like three favorite developers. Spectrosonics. I'm a huge Spectrosonics fan. That's my number one. I have everything, Omensphere, Trillion, Keyscape, everything. Heaviosity and Stress of Sampling. Those are my three favorite brands for plugins and sample libraries. Uh, let's see, Vasily's strings make the run, so I'd have to uh, those th kind of effects things on the bottom of the strings folder. Mm, that could make sense. I mean, you could even make a run. Some libraries have an articulation that is a run on the actual, let's say, violin sample library. But what was I looking for? I was looking for actual um, scrapes and stuff. Is there is there no like sample like I, I need just a gigantic collection of horror sounds like this scrapes and bows, bowed symbols and stuff. Um, let's see, stress of symphobia. I don't think I have anything. Let's see if a Novo has something evolved. No. What is Sting Design? Oh, String Designer. Sorry. Damage. Does Damage 1 have any percussion kits? Metals. Let's see. Symbol Performance. Symbol Bow. Here we have something. This is what I'm talking about. Let's try symbol performance effects as well. Okay. I'm surprised that Damage 2 didn't seem to have these kinds of sounds. I'm going to put that in the horror category instead, actually. Anything post effects would be in their own folder. Yeah, uh, exactly. I'm, I'm I'm going to have a folder for. And by the way, it it might come as a surprise how I actually will categorize the instrument folders and groups later. I'm not going to categorize as strings, brass, and so on. I have a kind of, I don't know if it's unique, but a different strategy for this new master template. Let's see. Uh, so that is a horror sound, in my opinion, at least. Let's see. We have. Where did that go? I need the vial again. This is horror, and it was uh, damage one. Yep. Because sounds like that are very, very creepy. Let's say. So. Uh, Hmm, war sounds. I, I wonder if stress of sampling has any cool... I guess you could use these choir shouts as war sounds. Let's see if... Uh, let's see... Uh, Flatus strings, where are you? There. It's so small, and I'm sitting like one meter away from the screen. Please contact. Update that. Pre no. No, it's in the wrong category. Hey, where are you? Instruments? Experimental? No. Um, combinations? No. I thought they have some, like, these shouts. Let's see. Let's see, I think somewhere on Damage 2 page it says they haven't added the exact sounds, so you can use both instruments together. Yeah. I think the yeah, I think isn't damage to complete the new samples and recordings. Uh, they sound different. The Armageddon patch 
in Damage 1 to me sounds more hyped and processed, whereas Damage 2 is it's still processed and trailerish, you know, but not as processed. More you can do more organic stuff with that. Uh, but probably everyone, every cinematic composer's favorite percussion patch, the Armageddon Ensemble from Damage. I'm just going to try one of these uh, psychato strings low and see how it sounds. No, it's not a effect. That's more of a string. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I might have been mistaken. Barbaric strings could not be low. Okay, so that's the old version. You relay uh, on your senses as category criteria. I think you yeah exactly so we all categorize differently but it's nice to hear your opinions at least war and it's instruments of war omnisphere new samples more mic positions uh it's essentially wider and a little less hyped on the top yeah i, I think so too so i mean i i now have three different ranges for cinematic percussion super hyped trailerist damage one favorite the in between the middle ground which is damage to you and then the more natural orchestral percussion which i use uh, mainly true strike by S product sam and uh, stress of samples orchestral percussion x3m and then superior drama 3 orchestral percussion sdx all oh, those names so many long names to remember D does bold colors let's see <laughs> I mean, we have another horror sound, I think, at least. Ah, horror. So let's see, we, another. So now I have two horror sounds in Omnisphere. Eh, let's keep it that way. Do you have any Ethera libraries? Uh, no, because when I talk to, uh, what's his name? The Italian Stefano, Stef the founder of Ethera. Um, and uh, I was going to review his new library. It was only con in Contact 6 and I did not have Contact 6. I only had Contact 5 and I refused to upgrade for so long because I was so upset that Contact did not update, you know, the scalable interface, the large interface. But then I just caved in and bought co the upgrade uh, like two weeks ago. So now I have Contact 6. Let's see, uh, I need that uh, little uh, file again. So now we have that horror sound from Omnisphere. Have you got into Keep Forest yet, Michael? I've relied on them for almost all my non-custom sounds. Really great libraries and sample flags, plus so many incredible free versions. Ethereus are freaking great from... St Stefano was his name, yeah. I chatted with him uh, like two years ago or one year ago. And uh, I mean, he's doing really cool things also with the vocal uh, libraries he's working on. Okay, I essentially killed the war category, so let's not use that for now. Horror, ambience. Okay, so I have a couple of... I think I have two Keep Forest. Atlantica and... What's the other? Dragon. These are all the libraries, like five years old, I think. Uh, I have one here, Atlantica, as a whoosh sound. Right now. Uh, so... Really great for whooshes. Uh, let's just check what else it has because I could add it to another category. So these are whooshes. I mean, here I will show you the one of the worst things about contact. I mean, when I uh, go back to this track and open up the interface again, how do I change the sound? I every time I need to go into the browser, go into my you know hard drive searched for the library like where is it atlantica what's it called evolution atlantica evolution atlantica dive into the subfolders this annoys the crap out of me that you have to do this every time in contact so there are better contact libraries like damage 2 this is why one reason i love damage 2 uh, that uses snapshots and even further ones that actually uses a built-in custom browser. And they have this, I think, here in, like, as a source here. 
so you don't have to dive into this contact browser because the contact browser sucks to be honest you have to go down and you know dive deep every single time you open up the interface am i the only one that am upset about that so there that's two aspects of contact that you cannot scale the interface to a bigger resolution and that the browser sucks let's see horror ambience i i don't know what else can we do in the effect categories since i don't seem to have any shouts and war sounds uh, Jeff, this annoys me so much too. Yeah, I mean, I I wonder is that is that context fault or is it like a something with the uh, DW? I I'm not sure. When I go to sound and open up the interface again, I want the browser to be on that sound to show me. I it's, I I would check if Omnisphere does this. Open up Omnisphere. Let's see. Yes, it shows the sound here in the browser, which I'm actually uh, using. So I don't have to, you know, dive in once again and search. Omnisphere is the best preset browser in the world, so other developers should take note. All the categories you can browse, you can search for sound, you can find a similar... I mean, let's, let's check this in Omnisphere. You have this sound, you can put it on sound match and found similar sounding sounds, which are not the same preset, but sounding similar. So you don't have to you know, browse different, completely different sounds uh, when you go through presets. Let's close that for now. And we have the ambience category, atmosphere alchemy. Let's see, I'm considering if I should add the drone in here from UBI workstation as well because sometimes you use it more as an ambience thing and not a drone let's see drone here it is ambience or the wood no, uh, the extreme effects sub and drones organic let's try this one where are you I cannot okay turn it off I don't even find found the sound now. Here. It's more of a drone, but I mean the difference between an ambience and a drone can be pretty mm, small. So let's put UVI drone in the ambience category as well. Sometimes you just want that background thing here. Phil, show complete control, time let priest window, always starting with an A asterisk wait a minute is that a suggestion show complete control tiny little preset window always starting with an a asterisk i'm not sure what you mean phil uh, okay you will uh love the new keyboards devastated breakout library i saw dirk illustrator on the uh, mm, probably i should probably reach out to them because i haven't kept up with the keep Force stuff since the atlantica five years ago Superb for trailer epic stuff. I believe that their new libraries, Devastator and stuff, it does have its own, you know, preset browser. I mean, let's go back and check that Atlantica Wush thing here. It's also uh, um, have this, has this annoying interface when it comes to preset browsing. Because how do I change preset here? I cannot. I cannot change preset here. I need to go, I mean, file here if i click here it will just take this one the next one here so it doesn't work either sometimes they have snapshots this one doesn't so i need to go into files oh for some reason that one had had it at least in the folder but then i need to go into different categories here i don't like it i don't like that way i like the omnisphere way or the alchemy way or you know those plugins when you browse presets even you know by the way um, I guess most of you focus on cinematic, trailer music, epic music, orchestral music, right? Anyone into EDM and beats? Because I want to try those uh, styles as well this year, because I feel that at least trailer music and epic music is fusing orchestral cinematic uh, more and more with hybrid electronic stuff and synthesizers and beats. You know, making this hybrid electronic slash orchestral genre so one plugin that I have been checking out, which 
a lot of beat makers and you know EDM guys use. I don't have it myself. It's called Nexus. So does anyone have any experience with Nexus? I don't know the brand developer. I know the plugin is called Nexus. It's basically similar to Omnisphere, but Omnisphere is more focused on cinematic, organic movement pads and stuff, you know, cinematic sounds. Whereas Nexus is more, you know, EDM sounds and more cutting edge electronic sounds. To my ears, at least, from what I heard. Uh, have anyone used that? And especially, have you used Nexus for in orchestral, in hybrid eh, trailer music and stuff? Let's see. Uh, if you have complete control, you can show how poor its browser is. Uh, yeah, I have complete control. I use complete control on everything in contact these days. Simply because the only thing that I really love about complete control is the light guide on my keyboard. So I can actually see where are the articulation mappings. Because one thing that annoys me and probably you guys too is sample libraries and then you hit the key and you accidentally hit an articulation key switch that you didn't know were there. If you can at least see those as different colors on your MIDI keyboard, which the native instruments complete control keyboard has this light guide. That is the main thing why I use it. I don't even use the, the knobs and stuff. I use the light guide. That's why I use the complete control plugin instead of the contact six plugin. Uh, it it still loads the contact libraries in uh, inside it. What did happen here? Why didn't that load? Whoops! Something went wrong with that now. Okay, so that is ambience. I have complete control. I have yeah, I have complete control. Should probably snap like Thanos. Uh, did it work? Did I? Am I now dominating in the universe? Serum, Serum is for EDM music and great for cinematic sounds too, if you know how to program it. Uh, I have been interested in Serum, but um, I'm not sure why I haven't got Serum yet, to be honest. I see l practically every EDM producer uses Serum. I should probably get that this year. So far, my favorite uh, synthesizers are Omnisphere. Everyone talks about it as cinematic orchestral, you know, sampled sounds. But it has like 400 waveforms, the most deep synth engine of all. And I know synthesizers. I grew up with synthesizers. I have taught how to program synthesizers. So I, I know practically everything there is about synthesis. So I know Omnisphere is amazing of a uh, synth engine with modulation matrix, routing and stuff. My second favorite is uh, Diva because it's that classic Moog uh, synthesizer. In fact, let me just load it up. Where do we have Diva? Here. So this is Diva. Okay. And you get you get uh, presets, lots of presets. I have made my own preset packs in this. Just it has these more warm analog styles. For me personally, I'm more, I'm more a fan of analog warm kind of synth sounds and not the sharp, edgy, you know, uh, piercing sounds. Sound paint. I haven't saw is sound paint. That's the i8 dio thing. I chatted with a friend about it. It seems to be a really cool, interesting way to control sample libraries in a synthesized, like a hybrid way. Aaron, Vital is free, cheap, and probably be better than Serum. Vital. I haven't heard about that. But uh, let's see. You best with another synth, not Nexus, because you can't really change the presets because it's about getting. Uh, yeah, I mean, as long as I get like, I, what I want is 10,000 plus presets. I don't want to customize the presets for the synthesizers. Uh, I just want to grab something quickly to add to my otherwise cinematic orchestral uh, compositions. Like, let's say I need something, a cool effect, synth effect here. I don't have time to customize every synth sound, so that's what why I am I am attracted by Nexus, because I read they have like 30,000 presets. Uh, I don't know how good they are, but at least there's there's a lot to choose from. 
Let's see, otherwise I like Alchemy in Logic. That's a Logic only synthesizer. I think those are my favorite synthesizer. I have this Fossey on this old 303 synthesizer. This is old school. Oh no. Damn it! I hate these uncompatible plugins that crashes my logic. I will try to save this now and see what happens. If this crashes logic, I, I'm going to be so annoyed. If this crashes my section session. Damn it! I shouldn't have saved. An audio unit plugin reported a problem. Okay, I, I need I need your help, guys. Uh, how do I open my 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 product now? Should I just? I think I can. Um, let me try this. Load an empty project. This is why processor like the new M1 Apple Silicon CPU. It's not compatible with all the plugins. So this can happen now. Let's try the plugin manager and just search for that Fosion plugin. Fosion, Fosion, Fosion. It says successfully validated. Let's do it like that. I hope this will solve the problem. Quit Lodi Pro. And then open it up. And I hope it shouldn't try to. What in the actual. I need some help, guys. How can I open this product without it having, without it trying to? It cra it crashes my logic session. I'm stumped. Jeff, help me out! I need help. Is there a safe mode I can open logic in? An audio unit plugin reported a problem which might cause the system to buy Please quit and restart logic. And now I cannot do anything at all. And if I press that, it quits. I, I, I suppose it was this plugin. I just wanted to show you this plugin and now this happens. Please, someone who uses logic, tell me how I can solve this now. Otherwise, I mean, I don't want to have to redo the entire template. You might need to delete your cache and reload all VSTs. Delete your cache and reload... Okay. This one's happened to me. Let's see. Let's open a, open a clean logic. How do I reload my cache? I, I assume this has something to do with the plugin manager. Fosium. I have even deleted it. Should it shouldn't be even disable failed audio units. Let's try that one. Rescan. Jeff, how do I delete my cache in Logic? Reset and rescan selection. I'm trying that. Is that what you mean? I mean, you, you shouldn't be able to, you know, like crash an entire product like this, should you? Okay, so now if I quit, try to open again my master instrument template. Please, 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 please. Damn it! Maybe copy and rename the product and open from there. A quick thing to try. Just because I added a plugin that's probably not compatible. That should not happen. Copy and rename the product. That's called copy. I mean, I, I'm... And I thought I was smart to save when it crashed and now I saved the in the the crash into the save file the, the, there must be a solution I I worked with this template for two days 
I think to delete your cache you have to find loading profiles in your local HD. Find the cache or delete the contents. Then when you open up load, when it reloads. Okay. Applications. Where do I find that? Logic. Loading Pro. No, I need to go to like applications. No, where's that library? Try what K tried first. K. I just tried to copy the file. That didn't work. Didn't you see? Where's where's logic hidden now? Users, applications. Ah, logic cache. I mean, this was the most annoying thing ever. Go to system. System, applications. Logic. Where are you, logic? Library. Is it here? I have no idea how to find that damn cache file in Logic. I have to be honest, I have never liked the uh, Mac OS systems, like you know, all this operating system folders and stuff. I think it's way too hard to find things here. Go to system, or do you mean like the system preferences here? Logic. No, not there. System should be in library. Logic. Logic plugins. Is it that? Jeff? Contents. Local plugin. I mean, what, what, what are these things? I have no idea what these things are. Bessel services, display service, F S connect. Uh, Templates. This is logic plugins. I mean, I think we have to actually search logic pro project crashes when opening project specific session. Here, let's see what they say. Logic pro help. Okay. Uh, let's see. Solution open logic under logic pro preferences audio. D select core audio. Let's try that one. Open. Okay. Please select core audio. Apply. All right. Was that the only thing he said? Try to open project. It won't play since audience, but we're just trying to see if the project will open. Yep. So try that. Uh, open up again. Let's see. Do you define how do I clear my loaded cache? Resetting the loaded pro plugins, cache manually, print close loaded pro using Mac or find go to library caches. Okay. Uh, let's do that as well. Library caches. Where were we? Audio. Audio unit cache. It's not here. It's not here. Try starting that template holding down control button for 15 seconds. It should bring up the window that allows you to bypass the plugins. Oh, Plastidon, that is... That is a good suggestion. But let's first try uh, if that solved the problem. Templates, where are you? Please, 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 please. Nope. Okay, so doing what he said here, uh, the selecting core audio did not help. I'm afraid that means the pro file is corrupted. Ah! What in the actual... Otherwise, re-importing all the tracks. I guess this might work, but it's so annoying. Crash thread. It has worked for me in the past. Okay, uh, what did you say? You said... Let's see. Try starting template, holding down option key. Okay, holding out. Oh, what is this? Man, I have like available backups. Let's see. 14. Let's try. Oh, wow. Let's try. Let's try that one. The most recent one. Oh, damn it. It worked. 
Thank you! Plastidon, Plastidon, I don't know how to pronounce it, but... Uh, oh man, you fixed. I was so scared to have lost like two days of work on this master template. That would have been crazy. Oh, man. Should I start to make a habit of saving... Uh, let's see. To save like copies of the template. Is, isn't that like... A thing of the past to have like master product pro project template version one version two and so on uh this stream has it all sounds community drama <laughs> that was that was some drama i mean oh man i could feel my heart rate going up crazy high uh congrats sweet happy work yeah oh wow ah damn 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 Logic scared the shit out of me. We were talking about my favorite synthesizers. Um, Cause... Why it wasn't making a sound there? So okay, again, where, where, where were we? Like uh, Omnisphere, UVI, no, or uh, Diva and Alchemy probably my third. Whew! I think, how long have we streamed? For two hours and we're... Uh, at least the stream hasn't had any crazy issues like that. Okay, so we have ambience. Did I get the last one? The UVI... yeah, UVI drone ambience as well. I'm actually going to check a bit here in my old folder. If I have like the old contact libraries, if I can try Atlantica Dragon. This is my one of my backup drives. As you can see, I have a lot of libraries still here from... What's that sound? I hear like a spring sound. Is it my chair? Um, any more effect types here? Strings of winter. What's that? Suspended symbols. No. Oh, palette. There we have palette. How big is this? What did the is it my is it this? What's what's making a spring sound? I hear some kind of kind of spring sound. Let's see, palette is oh 80 gigabytes. What do we have here? We have melodics or ah, orchestra effects. Here we have something. So let's try copy that. This might take well. Can I do this on stream with a CPU? Not sure. M2 it's like something something is making a sound here in my studio and I have it's not my chair what spring eh the mystery continues so I will see how much room I have on the M2 drive still left this is a 2 terabyte drive, I have 671 gigabytes left, so I should be able to copy this into my contact folder. This will probably... I think this will take too long of a time to be able to use this in stream. Or my computer will die, let's see. Palette. Estimating time remaining 13 two minutes okay so let's that let's see if we have something else that we can add at the same time the anthem choir let's see damage dominus choir that will be fun to try out the choir libraries later probably in a later stream so i had evolution atlantica i where are, where is the other one evolution it should be called like dragon or something Oh, now I'm in the wrong category. Sorry about that. Contact. Phil, uh, Michael, I think Nexus is really bad value. Check the price for the full version with a number of uh, presets. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. It's my mother calling and she, she uh, has been to a surgery. I need to really take this. I will continue this stream today or tomorrow. I need to take this. Uh, see you guys next time. <laughs>